When I decided to restore my 20 year old axe, I looked on the internet to see what type of axe it was. The first thing I pulled up was Bridgeport number 99. I figured since I didn't have any stamps, it was probably just a generic multi-tool, which actually looks closer to what I have in my hand here. But as you can see, mine is rusted, it's worn, the handle is cracked, uh, it is definitely worn and dry. And look, when I run my thumb right across the blade, nothing happens whatsoever. So I decided that I was going to fix this little guy up and get it back into a better working order than it was. First things first, take off the handle and then set it up so that I can start removing that rust. The first thing I used was an 80 grit flap wheel. That seemed to take off majority of the rust that was on there. To get into the little nooks and crannies, I decided to add the wire brush to my angle grinder. And that way I can kind of get in and take away any of that leftover stuff the flap wheel couldn't get. Well, because I'm not a restore guy and I often just want to do things my own way, I decided to decorate the axe hand, uh, not the handle, but the actual axe portion uh, of the, the tool uh, with my Dremel. So I took a little blade, I guess round blade is what you might call it, and I started carving in or engraving in my logo into the axe. And overall, I was pretty pleased with it. Uh, I went ahead and finished that out. And then I decided to use some wood that Tim Sway had given me a couple of years ago when I was out visiting with him. And Tim, if you're happy to watch this at some point, maybe you can comment down below and let me know what type of wood that was. I'm sure that it was off some kind of incredible boat or house or something that you managed to find the wood on. Um, that knack that you have of, of recovering incredible wood. It was definitely a hardwood and I didn't have anything in the shop to use as pins that I could put the handles together. So I decided to use uh, dowels and just put some glue on some quarter inch dowels drilled straight through the, uh, the two pieces of wood and the handle of the axe and then let that set up in glue. So as you'll see here in just a second, I kind of like didn't pay attention to the fact that uh, my camera is sitting on my workbench and as I'm hammering, you get that little earthquake effect and uh, I need to be a little bit more cognitive of that. So as I started to sand up the handle, uh, I was really pleased with how this was coming out. I mean, the wood is just awesome wood. Again, I don't know what kind it is. Uh, I'm sure I'll post it here somewhere in the description once I find out. Once I got the handle all sanded, uh, it was time to oil it up and I used a Danish oil and started polishing up the wood. I was real pleased with how this came out. And again, I'm not a restore person, but I was pretty pleased at uh, the finished product. It was decorative, it's useful, it was kind of done in my own style. And uh, yeah, I hope you like it. I might have to try to get a little bit better at doing this and improve my techniques and, and really kind of do a more pro job on this. But hey, there you go. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. It's greatly appreciated. And I have to give a shout out to brothers Matt and Johnny over on the channel Brothers Make. I'll leave a link to their video about their axe restoration here at the end of this video. So it was their inspiration that got me thinking about, hey, maybe I should redo something on my axe or hatchet or hammer axe nail puller type tool. Well, anyway, I think you know what I'm talking about. We'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. Leave a comment down below if you have any comments. And if you want to get notified for the next time I have a video upload, hit that little bell button. We'll see you in the next video.